what is going on guys, Brown here, your most consistent YouTuber in the world, but anyway, welcome back to the My Team Crew, my dear today, for part 24 at the Bahrain Grand Prix, Bahrain holding two races in real life, of course, um, but into qualifying, this is our last run, first one wasn't great, um, so, Try and get qualifying out of the way as quickly, quickly as we can in these videos so that we can go on to the race a bit quicker. We are up on our time. If you do go on to enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe if you want. We're coming up to the line, across the line, and it's going to be 19th on the grid. Dreadful. Let's get into the race. We're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss Red Bull? We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Stroll, Russell, Perez, Albon and Daniel Ricciardo, Sainz, Kvyat, Pierre Gasly and Magnussen, De Vries, Ireland, Antonio Giovinazzi and Lando Norris, Brown, Latifi, Joe and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. So on the grid then, we we'll just hope that everyone has a clean race. We don't want to repeat of what happened in the real Bahrain Grand Prix at the start. I'm going to start on the mediums because we're outside the top 10 so we might as well. But that's the strategy. Let's get into it. It's one, two, three, four, five lights. And we're going Bahrain. It's Mercedes Ferrari at the front row. And now everyone's getting away well in the background. You can see the Mercedes has got a good start. Lando's round, there's a massive crash at the back. Multiple cars involved, we've been involved. Both Alfa Romeo's Lando Norris in the brown GP car. And the safety car has been deployed at the start of this Bahrain Grand Prix before we've even got to turn four. Now we've got up into P12, but what a massive accident been caused there. This is the onboard from us, so we got a good start. We went to went behind Lando, try and slipstream him, slipstreamed him, and then Lando lost it and hit the side of us. And then sandwiching the Alpha Tauri there with Kavia between us and Carlos Sainz. This is the onboard from Lando. I have to see who actually made this happen or not but Lando just loses it on, on his own and then hits us and that just sends him across into the Haas and then I don't know what happened between the Alphas but yeah it's a crunching crash this is what he just lost it in a straight line then we hit him and then he goes into the side of the Haas and then the Alfa Romeo's both it's each other as well. There's a Williams involved in that as well. This is Carlos Sainz is on board. Carlos Sainz loses it as well. Hits um, Pierre Gasly and then somehow is all right and just in front of us. But a lot of front wing damage by the looks of things. This is the on board from Kvyat. Then and he just loses it as well. Look at Sainz loses it in front of him and into turn one. He gets sandwiched between us and Carlos Sainz and. Um, yeah, Carlos Sainz. This is what it looked like from Daniel Cavia. Just a huge crash. Everyone just mustn't have had any grip. They're just everyone spinning at the rears. This is on board with the Alpha and 
he loses it, gets clipped by Gasly. And this is on board with Guan Yu no with um Nick De Vries. And you can see there Giovinazzi wipes out Kevin Magnussen. And now Pierre Gasly going along mind his own business and gets put in the wall by Carlos Sainz. And this is just kind of like um the game doing its best impression of the um, restart at Magello, you can see that Giovinazzi just gets hit from behind and everywhere. This is on board from Guanya Joyce, so look at it, everywhere it just happens in front of him. But after a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic open start, I bet, I bet you didn't see that coming at the start of this race. We're gonna, we're going wheel to wheel. We're gonna try and go down the inside of the Red Bull there. We've gained a couple of positions. Trying to go round the outside of the Red Bull. I think it's Alex Albon. Um, I think we've got him. No, we're still side by side. Going up towards turn four. And now into turn four. We have the job done, but we've gone a little bit wide, and that's allowed Albon to pull back up our inside. And now through turns five and six, we're going to be side by side. And Albon defends us. And now we're coming back under fire from Carlos Sainz. We try and squeeze him out, and we do squeeze him out. So, I still can't get over that start. Very, very dramatic. And not many cars ret um, retired either, I don't think. You can see there, actually all 22 cars are still in the race after that. I think the only thing you could call it first corner crash it all went on before we even got to turn one but everyone's still in the race I do um, do it on reduce so I don't know whether if it was on um, full damage then there would be some DNFs I think if it was on simulation it definitely would be like probably 16, 17 cars left in it now yeah. But we're currently leading the race, so we're just going long on these tyres. We managed just to get our head down, and we lost out to those obviously at the front. And now on lap 12, we're going to come in to make our first stop of the day, night, even. Trundling down the pit lane, everyone goes past us, but remember our, late, our race will be later. So on to another set of the mediums, the mediums felt, felt decent. Um, obviously most people it is kind of the reverse strategy of what I'm guessing the front runners are going to be doing and also the cars around us as well um, but those behind us actually on the hard to convey out on the soft as we get through and up now into P9 this and, in, and next up the road from us is um, S Van Ocon in the Renault so hope we can catch him and get on our way. As out of the race. No. Lando. Lando Norris is out of the race. He's pulling over. And our reliability is shown there just two races into the Grand Prix. And to be honest, he probably should have retired earlier on in the race. Um, but still, that doesn't take away our reliability as we come under fire from Nick De Vries in the Alfa Romeo. We'll just try our hardest to defend him on. He is on the hard tyres. We still have to pit again, remember. So, we've got to get our head down. We did manage to create a small gap, and Lewis Hamilton now um, doing. Obviously, he's, I think he's leading the race, um, but he gets past us there. He's on the mediums, is Lewis. And now we try to let him through, but Nick DeFries smells an opportunity there, but we do keep behind him, I wanted Lewis to get up the road but he didn't so we were just kind of sat here and we're probably going to have a run at him because he's so slow in a straight line and we thought oh, we need to squeeze him off the track and he won't be happy with that one but we do re overtake him, didn't really want to do it because obviously he is the quicker car but I'll make do of it, we've just overtaken a Mercedes but down the inside into that tricky turn 10 and he gets the job done and now look at 
but somehow I keep the playing stuff in from that camera angle it looked like it's gone isn't it looked like Nick DeFries was having a look but we do defend him but we've gone wide we've gone wide and Lewis is through at that left hander we've gone wide and Lewis Hamilton is through on us and on lap 21 we are going to come in to make our final stop we have 8 laps 7 laps to get back into the points and currently P9 after losing a couple of, a couple of positions to coming in put on the softs and we're down into P19 now we've got some overtaking to do Jeff we don't care about dangerous driving let's get the party started shall we here we go then we're on the back of several cars we're gonna send it down the inside we've got two into one corner we're up into 17th and that is a great move as the house and the McLaren are side by side I think that is Daniel Ricciardo you can see the Red Bull just up the road next up the road is Giovinazzi as we try and go around the outside of Giovinazzi he tried to swap him the dummy you may have seen there now we're going to try and follow him through. Maybe go around the outside. Maybe and then switch down to the inside. That's an incredible move. With Paul Darren and Antonio Giovinazzi. Proud of that one. Wow. And now we can get on. We're into P16. And we have four laps to go in this race. And we're on the back now of Sergio Perez in his Renault after losing his racing point seat to George Russell so kind of realistic because we send it down the inside of Sergio Perez obviously we are on fresh soft tyres and those around us now are on very odd hard tyres but round the final corner then Valtteri Bottas is going to win the Bahrain Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton it was a fair way back because we battled him. Get it through traffic. It really didn't help his cause in this race. And I think that's what allowed Bottas to pull away and go on to win. It's going to be a Mercedes 1 2 though. And look at this. Esteban Ocon at the same track he did in real life. He's going to get his first podium from the two Ferraris. And we have bottled the points yet again I don't know why looking back on this why did the two stop we started outside the top 10 we could have gone medium hard and we could have been looking at some very good points here but we have about three brain cells so we're gonna round the final corner and we're gonna finish P15 that's the end of the race we'll see you in part four mate The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Fair play, Esteban Ocon, bit realistic, you have to say, and after that race, only one retirement. I don't know how. And of course it's Lando Norris which is very annoying, Bottas and Hamilton making it Mercedes 1-2 in the standings, Bottas still leading, Lando is somehow ahead of us even though he retired, so that's, that's not great is it, but we have Vietnam next and we all know how good Vietnam is, wow, can't wait for that one. But all honestly hopefully it's not that bad. 
other race. You can see the constructors here. We're not last for once. We're level on the rivalry with Danny Ricardo. We haven't been able to pick up our sponsor bonuses, only one of them from Sunblast. We've also had some damage as well. See so Lando's engine blowing up. We do have a budget though of 14 million and it's time for us to pick some new sponsors as well. So I'm going to go for DS, DSB Optics as one of them. So there will be our two, our three sponsors rather. We still need to do the, the get the final one and after that race I think it's sensible we focus on the reliability no there's other aspects of the car but you can have a quick car but it's if it's unreliable it's not going anywhere that's pretty much it for this video really I hope you've enjoyed it a very big crash and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in Vietnam goodbye